Wow, someone's left this Flora Vest uh, petrol head streamer with the attachments out for scrap. So obviously I'm going to have a look at it. First thing I'm going to do is get, give it a clean. Let's get the old jet wash on it before I inspect it. Get rid of all the dirt. It's going to give the attachments a blast as well. And here you can see the machine here. Um, I'm just, first thing I'm going to do is check for the spark. I've got a spark plug tester. Just connects it to the earth on the body, and you can hear it clicking already. So the spark is good. I'll just show you here. I have to slow this bit down so you can see the spark. There's a spark there. So. It's not a problem with the ignition. But I've noticed that as I'm cranking it, there's no uh, resistance, there's no compression. So more than likely, it's a problem with the engine. And as you can see here, that's a brand new uh, spark plug. So someone's been having a look at it. And uh, the carburetor, that looks new as well. But I've stripped it down and give it a clean. As you can see here, pull the carburetor apart, it's pretty much a new unit. Um, so here you can see me removing the covers. Um, I'm dismantling the unit uh, to have a look inside the uh, cylinder. You can see I've um, took the cylinder head off and the piston is completely scored. Show you here, give you a little close up. Here you can see the piston here. It's even got a hole in the side. Uh, this is what happens when you run your two stroke uh, engine with uh, just unleaded and no um, oil additive, oil mixture. See, as you can see, it's completely scored the piston, it's just been running dry, no oil. And it's completely damaged it. And I'll just show you inside the piston as well. The score marks inside, not as bad as the actual. Sorry, I'll just show you inside the cylinder. Um, you can see score marks inside the cylinder as well. So first thing I'm going to do is um, get this piston out, just undoing the connecting rod retaining spring. Uh, and that's the spring out there, the clip. And here you can see I've prized the um, connection rod out, the, sorry the gudgeon pin out. And I've just pulled it out there. And here you can see me just lifting off the piston. And that's the top bearing, just put that to one side. And the, the piston measures about 40 millimeters across, and that's the diameter. And if you have a look here, I've managed to get the model number 1E40F-5B, and I've put that in Google for a Google search and one of the results is this um, it's off eBay 40 mil um, um, piston size and it's a piston and cylinder kit uh, it's 18,092 um, unfortunately it's from uh, China so it'll take a couple of weeks so until then until part two uh, please subscribe and uh, click the little bell if you want the notification of when the new video comes out.